Hey everyone, Brickhouse here with another video, and Gal Gadot. Some of you may know her, you know, Wonder Woman. She also played Han's love interest in uh, Fast and Furious. Um, she's had enough. And I wish more would speak out like this out of um, woke Hollywood, but I'll take the few that we can get. So Gal Gadot blasts gender-swapped action heroines. Heart of Stone Star states the obvious about male-female differences. Article starts out, and by the way, this article is written by Christian Toto from Hollywood and Toto. If Kathleen Kennedy had her, has her way, Phoebe Waller-Bridge will be cracking Indy's whip sooner than later. And that is the truth. They're setting her up to take over the mantle of Indiana Jones. The Disney executive teased a new Indiana Jones adventure starring the Fleabag alum who emasculates Harrison Ford's character in the saga's fifth film out June 30th. It's what movie geeks feared ever since we got our first glimpse of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. This is just another gender swap in a history of gender swaps. Um, anybody remember Ghostbusters 2016? Thank God I don't remember it because it was horrible. Now, one of Hollywood's biggest stars is speaking out against gender swapped action heroines. And she might have to fend off the woke mob as a result. Gal Gadot knows of what she speaks. She's played Wonder Woman in multiple DC outings, including two solo films. She's also got her hands dirty in five Fast and Furious films. The Netflix original Red Notice, which I highly recommend Red Notice. It's an excellent Netflix movie. And the streamer's upcoming Heart of Stone. The actress told Total Film that while she loves being an action star, she prefers playing original characters. Then recycles existing IPs. That's a kind way of saying she'd rather not watch Waller Bridge take the franchise baton from Ford. This is her quote. I wanted to show a great story about a female character who's doing it in the action genre, right? She is thriving. But at the same time, how many times have they just switched gender? They take a story that all about the men and they just change it to a woman. And then go shoot it. To me, it was so important in the DNA to make Heart of Stone a little different. Because men and women are different. They're built differently. They operate differently. And she's right. She is 100% right. But it's a lesson Hollywood keeps ignoring. Too many female action heroines act as if they're men. Strong, brave, resolute, but without any of the intrinsic qualities that make women, women. We're even told the next James Bond must be a woman to strike a blow against the patriarchy or something. A great example of the opposite approach, Ellen Ripley. Sigourney Weaver's iconic character saved the day multiple times in Alien franchise. You never forgot she was a woman, though, especially during Aliens. The character's maternal instincts made the 1986 film one of the best sequels in film history. Those qualities are often forgotten by modern screenwriters. Because it's just so easy to take a woman and say, okay, you got the man's role. Uneasy with making female heroines feminine in any traditional sense. It does help to see rail thin actresses beating up men roughly double their size. Godot knows better. Perhaps a few Hollywood suits will listen to what she has to say. So there you have it. 
Gal Gadot speaks out and she's probably going to get attacked by the woke mob on social media because how dare she say that she's tired of gender swapping roles. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Uh, and while you're at it, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, especially if you like the content that I'm covering. And it's a wide variety of content. Some of you may like, some of you may not like, but what the heck? Give it a shot. Subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell to get notified when my content goes live and, and is available here on YouTube. Uh, you can also catch me on Rumble and Twitter. And uh, with that, I thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, I will see you later.